What's up YouTube, it's the Shades Moto again, and as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a little bit different. I already made this video, so it might seem redundant to some people, but it's my most popular video, so I want to remaster it and go a little bit more in depth. That's why the Red Beast isn't as loud as a beast. I could actually hear myself talk, so I could go more in depth of how this quad actually works. So, this quad right here is a 5-speed fully manual. I don't know if you can really see the shift pattern. I'll see if I could zoom in on it. Oh no, it's kind of like in a weird position. Alright, kind of look in the middle. You really can't see it. Well, anyway, this is a 5-speed manual. And uh, neutral is in between 1st and 2nd gear. I covered that in my first video, of course. Let me put my uh, helmet on my head and get my gloves and glasses on. And uh, I'll teach you guys how to ride with a quad with the clutch. And for you people that watched my uh, last video on this and uh, wanted more information, this will give you that extra information. Okay, my helmet's on. I'm only going to ride a little. It's not like I need the helmet. I just like the camera angles I could get with it. Because uh, the helmet stabilizes a little bit more of my head strap mount. And also kind of preaches safety because some of you riders might be new. Whatever. And check out these shift racing gloves I got here. These things are just beautiful. These things are just completely immaculate. I got them pretty cheap, and yeah, I love them. They look really good on camera. They're starting to get a little bit dirty, but uh, such is life. You ride quads, you're gonna get dirty at one point or another. Yeah, I want to put these glasses on because I'm not really gonna go. Hopefully, I don't forget them. Okay, so this is my 2001 300EX. And, uh, as you know, fully manual transmission. The bike isn't running right now, so you guys can hear me talk. Let's get on the bike. I have my foot on the foot pegs. I'm kind of sitting back on the seat. I don't know how good you can see my controls. I'm focusing more on the foot controls. This is the rear brake. If I stamp on this really hard, it will lock up these back tires here. And if I pull in the clutch and do it, I could uh, get a pretty nice skid going. Although, I could just steer off the throttle. And I'll pull in the clutch to do this. This is the clutch, might as well go over it. Connects to a cable down here and pulls this. The clutch is in here. This is the clutch case on this side of the bike. That's the clutch side. And here is like the crank case and everything where you have your plugs for when you're like resetting valves. So yeah, this is the clutch, you pull this in. For you people that uh, really don't know what a clutch is, you're completely new, this clutch right here, this connects the engine's power from the back tires, the drive wheels. I guess is the simplest explanation. Like you could be uh, giving her hell, you let off the gas, you do that, you, you could do whatever you want to with the gas, and you will not speed up or slow down, you're just freewheeling, it's like it's in neutral. Even if you're in fifth gear, that clutch is pulled in. And that's how you change gears, because like, bike's in neutral. I'll put her down to first gear, which is down on this bike. Because remember, neutral's between one and two, you push down for first gear, rest of the gears are up, and every downshift is down. And neutral, it's between one and two. Let's see if I'm in neutral. Okay. Yeah, I'm in neutral. Okay, first gear, and I let out the clutch really slow, like I'm starting. I'll go more in depth this later. And I need to go to second gear. I pull on the clutch, I pull up the shifter to second gear, all the way it could go, let out the clutch, and get back on the gas. So I'll do this a little bit quicker. I'm in first gear. Okay, I'm in first gear on this. I just pulled away, and I want to let off the gas, clutch in, up shifter, clutch out, back on gas. It's going to look like this. Some of you guys, here I go, rock back into gear. Some of you guys can't do it that fast, but I have years of practice. And now this lever, you're probably wondering what it is. Here, let's see. Yeah, the camera should be lined up with it. This is my reverse lever. To get in the reverse on these bikes, I'll cover this because it's kind of an awkward procedure. You look on the clutch lever, there is this red button here. You push in, you pull on the clutch when you're in neutral. 
and you pull up this lever and you'll go into reverse and you could you know lay off the clutch like normal and uh, when you want to go back to neutral you just push back down there you go that's how you uh, do reverse on these bikes yeah, make sure I'm in neutral I don't like sitting when I'm not neutral okay I actually missed it Sorry, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I don't like having the bike sitting not in neutral because I go to start it and like, why the hell won't it start? I guess while I'm at it, that's another thing I should put out. These bikes, you could start them in gear. You really can't pull away unless you're in first or second gear. But you can start in gear as long as the clutch is pulled in because, again, the clutch is like being in neutral. But if it's cold and the clutch sticks a little at first, you have to be in neutral. I can't be in gear with... The engine connected to the drive wheels and starting it. It won't work. Because this bike, if you let out the clutch like really slow, I mean, just like creep it out. See, if you can see my hands moving, just creep it out. And you're on flat, it will move by itself, but otherwise you have to use gas. And if you're just gonna start it, it's only gonna go up to its idle RPM. And you're not engaging it slow enough, so it's not gonna start just in gear. The starter motor won't even run the way the bike is. Just like the CDI won't allow it. Same thing like uh, the reverse rev limiter is 2,500 RPM when the bike's rev limiter is 7,000 RPM. Now I'm just speaking for this bike and this bike only. I don't know what uh, bike you have or what bike you're planning on getting, but this is what this one does. So uh, basic recap: when you're pulling away from a start. You have the clutch in, you're in first, maybe second gear. I recommend first. These are on your clutch. You just give her some gas. You just give her a little bit of gas and you let out the clutch. And it starts engaging, don't let out the clutch too soon. If you do that, you'll stall. Unless you're giving her a shit ton of RPMs. Then you'll spin tires, do a wheelie, but it's not easy on your clutch and your chain. Just get her going until she's rolling and you'll feel her get to a full roll and just let out the clutch. Give her some gas and we're ready for next gear. Upshift. I'm not actually shifting because I want to be a neutral. And just keep doing that. When you're ready for a downshift, you're slowing down, or your revs get too low and you can't pull a hill, clutch in, push down the shifter to whatever gear you need, maybe down two gears, let out the clutch. And to make it smoother, you could give her some gas. Now just make sure if you're downshifting, you're not doing like 50 mile per hour trying to go down the third gear. You'll blow the motor, like lock up your back tires. Like bad news bears if you try doing that. So you want to like be aware of what your machine's gears red line at and uh, what works best for you. I know every bike is different. My dad is the same bike, but his uh, his tires are a little bit more worn. So he, under hard acceleration, his revs will build higher, and his clutch feels a little bit different just because it's aged. But it's still a strong clutch. And uh, really, that's all there is to riding a manual. It sounds kind of difficult at first, and you probably will stall. I stalled 20 times my first time trying to ride manual. But my first year of owning this bike, I could pull away on hills, just, you know, modulating the front brake and whatever. It was nothing. If you're on a hill, so you don't roll back, like you'll be holding a brake, you just keep a finger on the brake to hold you, wait till the clutch engages until you start feeling it want to go forward, then let off the brake. She won't roll back on you. Kind of like in a manual car, you could like just pull up the handbrake and it'll do that. Well, anyway, me talking about how to do this is going to help you quite as good. I mean, we've already recovered what the clutch is, how the clutch works, how this bike shifts. There's just one thing left, and that's for me to show you this in action. I warmed up the bike, so I won't have to warm up for too long. All right, she cooled down a little bit. It's only like 50 degrees. Damn it. All right, wait a minute. A bike's always like this when she's getting warmed up. Okay, first gear, just a little bit of gas and ease away. Like I said, just a little. This much gas is all you need. Just get her going, you'll feel her grab, and let the clutch rest away. 
All right, so say just a little bit of gas and you'll get her going. And when you're ready for the next gear, just upshift. It's a downshift. Clutch in, down gear. Lay off clutch, back on gas. Now here we're gonna do a hill start. The bike is in first gear. I'm gonna get her going and pull away. All right, so it's just like a regular start, but my fingers are over the front brake. When you want to come to a stop, make sure you pull the clutch in. I know I missed that, but it's a very important part, or else you'll just stall. I'm not going to stall this bike purposefully. All right, I'm in neutral, so I'm holding the rear brake. I'm going to do a hill start, but uh, additional recap, I can't stress this enough. When you start, shift, or pull away, stop, uh, whatever the hell, use the clutch. That's the most important thing. If you've driven a semi-automatic quad, you're already pretty good because you know how to shift and how to match your revs. That's something you have to learn for yourself based on your bike. But uh, yeah, always use the clutch. Like I'm gonna pull away, go in the gear, use the clutch. I'm gonna shift, use the clutch. I'm gonna stop, use the clutch. Just remember, always use the clutch and it'll become second nature in no time. And the hill start, you do a normal start but you just kind of hold the front brake till she gets going. And uh, I know I said this before, but pulling away, it's the hardest thing when you're first getting used to it, but after a while, it's nothing. Just clutch, give her a little bit of gas, wait till she's coming out and engages, get her rolling, clutch all the way out. And when you're ready for a shift, just goose her, clutch in, Next gear, clutch out, back on the gas. And if you're being aggressive, you, uh, as soon as your finger's coming off the gas, you pull on the clutch, get your gear, just let out the clutch as fast as you can, and back on the gas. But this is for like high performance riding, otherwise it's really jerky. And for downshifts, you wanna smooth them out. You could uh, slip the clutch a little coming out to smooth them. And just to do a basic downshift, it, like you're uh, lugging her out or something, just clutch in, down gear, that will clutch, and do what you need to do. It's uh, really simple. You watch this video a couple times, just watch it over and over, memorize the key points, get out there and ride, try it for yourself. And if you own a quad with a clutch, and you get to ride like every day for a week, you'll be a pro at the end of that week. You can do whatever the hell you want at the end of that week. It's really quick to learn. You just gotta put in some time and effort to practice. So again, I'm going to do a hill start. I mean, this is kind of a hill. So yeah, I let out the brake. The front tire got stuck here. Hold on. See how she wants to roll down? She's on just a little bit of the hill. It's not challenging. So, again, since my foot's off the rear brake, got to get on the front brake, get in the first, give her a little bit of gas, clutch out. Lay off the brake, clutch all the way out. And here's a little hill. It's always fun to do some wheelies. I'm just going to go bang a couple quick more gears down the road and uh, that's it for this video. Let me duck my clothes on. I really don't know how the camera angle is going to turn out. This camera angle might be the best for this, or it could really be crappy. I'm sorry, but uh, the audio should be good enough. You can tell what I'm saying. Second 
gear, rev match out. Bang a wheelie. And when you want to come to a stop, just uh, clutch in. Use whatever brakes you have to, let the bike roll. And if you do downshift, the wheel engine brake, but like I said, watch your revs so that you don't go past red line. It's the Shades Moto. Make sure you subscribe if you found this video helpful. Like I said, this is a remastered version of my most popular video. I have over 50 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much. And I really couldn't have done it without you. It's just so fun for me to be able to share this on YouTube and help you guys out. So like I said, if you like this video, Make sure you uh, put a like on it. Feel free to comment. For something I left out, just say so in the comments. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later.